Hi guys, it's your girl Miss G and as always I am back with another video. So if you don't know, now you know. Today I'll be shedding the light of what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing all this violence for what t-shirt. The founder of the program, his name is Maurice aka Q. And I just want to say that for me, I'm glad that he did the program because it can help a lot of people in my community. The youth, oh my god, when I said it's people are the babies are dying you guys and if there's some way everyone could come together and stop the violence that continues to happen in this country when it comes to police brutality when it comes to terror attacks in their own backyard like look what happened in sandy hook look what happened in las vegas look what happened in texas look what happened in the florida nightclub like these things should not be going on and i and there's so many t people to be blamed I blame the government. I blame the the NRA. I private citizens, in my opinion, so don't come for me. In my opinion, should not have access to AK forty seven. They should not have access to guns that belong in the military. The amendment is written too broad. The right to bear arms is too broad, and it needs to be adjusted so that our babies don't continue to die each day. Like you shouldn't be worried about when you go to the mall or when you go to the movie theaters. You don't. You shouldn't be worried about those stuff because you don't know what's gonna happen. Anything can happen anywhere, and it's sad that people are allowed to have guns that can kill a lot of people in seconds. So I'm glad that he did this program to shed a light on what's going on in this in this country with domestic violence, the NRA, police brutality, especially people of minority. The other day I saw a video of a cop slamming this 15 year old black boy head in the concrete for what i do not know some are saying that he dropped his phone and um he no now some are saying that the person the cops were arrested dropped his phone so he went to pick up the phone and they they pepper sprayed him sit on the ground and started banging his head against the concrete and that is not enough that's that the police force is too much and i get it there are some good cops out there, but the bad cops make it worse for the good cops. And we need to, we need to find a way to have better police officers. Without us, without us paying our money and paying taxes, these police officers don't have a job. So we need to go out there, protest about what's going on and try to how that our babies can be safe in their own backyard. Like, you know how many black families or people or minorities like, have to worry about if their baby's going to come home safely because you don't know what's going to happen out there in the world. If you look like me or darker, you're going to have problems in this world. And it's sad. No matter how how high your education is, no matter how much money you have, you don't know anything can happen at any time. They look at you, you they think that we're a threat. They think we're a big threat and it's not okay. I'm glad this program was set together to shed a light on a lot of things, Okay. I get it. What the violence in this country cannot be stopped, but there needs to be things to, that to prevent certain things not to happen again. You shouldn't be sending your babies to school and not knowing if your baby's, baby's going to come back alive. You shouldn't be sending your kids to the movie theaters or to the mall and not knowing if they're going to come back home alive. There's so many things that's going on in this country that needs to be fixed, you guys. And I'm happy that I'm I I, I was able to talk about this and how I feel that. We need better gun control in this country. We need better gun control in this country. I don't care what no one says. We need it. I get it. People want to say, oh, it's my right to bear arms and have a lot of guns. Whatever it is. I get it. But our babies come first. And I want God's willing when I have kids in the future that I don't, I don't have to worry about my kids getting shot up at school or wherever they're going because of the guns that are allowed in private citizens' hands. So like, share, comment. Tell me what you think. I'll be putting on the description of this shirt I'm wearing. And yeah, guys, have a blessed day. Bye.